Oh, Bob. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am Tok, and today we are playing some Unturned. Oh, there's a lighthouse. I like lighthouses. So I have spawned by the airport, but I'm naked. Naked. So yeah, this is Unturned. Uh, it's just had its latest update literally about 2 o'clock this morning. I was actually playing the game, came out of it, and then it updated. So that's cool. Um, so we've had a couple of updates recently, some really good ones. And uh, we've also just had an update where they've added in a new map, uh, the Yukon. Uh, but before we go to the Yukon, because I've already been to the Yukon, um, we're going to play around a little bit on PEI, which is a standard map. And we're going to see if we can actually get ourselves equipped. Because in the Yukon, if you're not wearing clothes, you die quite quickly. I am not even joking. You die really, really, really quickly. Right. Here's zombie, 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 zombie. Here's zombie. Yeah, take that zombie. So yeah, this is a great little free-to-play game available on the Steam. Um, also, I have Steam Workshop now. I have got a few Steam Workshop mods added into the game. Nothing too fancy. Um, but there are some really good uh, Steam Workshop mods out there. There are some that add just new weapons and clothing and stuff. Come here. I don't know what I'm going to use the tape for, but I generally, when I start, start picking everything up. Come on. Ooh, I got me a gun. That's going to be cool, but not really useful right now. Um, I've only got three rounds, so it's sort of a desperation sort of measure. Torch, torches are cool. Uh, no, we don't want to use torch. Okay, so that's equipped there. Uh, we'll pick up the glue because the glue, you can now eat the glue. Oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah, you can actually eat the glue. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, what I will do though is, I will... Reload the Colt with that, just in case I get into trouble. Um, I will say this to anybody who is planning on playing this game. What you need to do, especially with a gun, sometimes you'll pick them up and they won't have ammunition in them. Uh, so they won't have ammunition in them. And what you need to do in that case... I'm just going to draw these guys out, I think. I'm not quite sure why you're stopping in the doorway. But I'm not going to argue. Oh, that. Yes. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we will switch this torch out. And we will be picking up that bat. And, well, we'll pick up the ace for now as well. So we'll go and we'll be using the bat now for a bit, I think. Um, so, yeah, if you are going to play this game, remember, guys, aim for the head. Pick everything up that you can find. You never know when stuff is going to be useful, unless it's a flare. The only time flares are really useful is when you are playing with your friends. 
Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. A uh, baseball bat is one of the better weapons. Uh, I like an axe as well. I uh, don't really need those. We've already got a flashlight. Uh, don't really need anything that's here at the moment. We'll go in here and have a look. Um, so yeah, I've been playing quite a bit of this now actually. I've had it installed for a long time. Um, oh, that's a rake. Uh, but I just didn't know what to do with it. There wasn't a lot to do with it. Um, that's a really square baseball bat. But yeah, it's one of those games. It is constantly being updated. So if you do start playing, you will, you know... Ooh, seven times scope. I will say it's worth... Oh, Bob. Um, yeah, we need to drop some shit. <laughs> right, well, I'm not going to need you right now. Um, I suppose I could eat the glue for now. I'm not sure why. I mean, I know you can eat some glue. I'm not sure why you'd want to. Oh, yeah, you don't do that, do you? Uh, sod it. Let's lose the thing. We'll keep the scope. I don't really use them, but we'll keep it anyway. You're not going to fit in still. I oh, you are going to fit in. Oh, baby. So... Yeah, this could be cool. Um, I'll keep the AK for a minute. And then we'll come back to that. I don't want the rake. Oh, there's another one though. Right. <laughs> stuff gets really complicated when you find loads of stuff. Because what you're going to be tempted to do is just grab everything you can. Now what I would say is... You find multiples of guns... Pick it up because you're gonna want. See what I mean? You're gonna want the um, ammunition, the magazines. Because then what you can do in here is you can come into your crafting menu. You can go here and then. Like I haven't got any ammo at the moment, so you can just merge them into one. So that when you come back here, you've got one. That's a full magazine. And one that's not. Also, good little note is you do have semi, auto, and uh, what am I talking about? Yeah, you've got semi and auto on the guns, but you also have a safety. So before you try and shoot, make sure the gun's not on safety. Um, used to always be on safety by default, um, but now every time I picked up a gun, it's not on safety. Because a lot of times when I first started playing this, I found guns got myself into a little bit of a predicament where I'm being swamped by zombies, and all you want to do is like kill some fools, but you can't because you're clicking and you're just getting the click, 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 click because you've got no ammunition so yeah just make sure that your guns not on safety mode and also make sure not to use a gun in the towns and stuff unless you are really fully equipped because you you're gonna need to be fully equipped because going in with half a magazine is not going to get you anywhere. It's going to get you killed. Metal scraps. That's a hammer. Don't need that yet. Metal scraps. Always be aware of your surroundings, guys. Because these guys will just... Oh, that's a generator. That could be really useful later. That's more tape, fuel metal scrap see I've never really I've, I haven't actually been up 
the area to investigate. So this <laughs> area I am less than familiar with. But when you're killing stuff, guys, make sure you do the old step back routine. It will keep you safer for longer. Especially if you've got a long reach weapon like a baseball bat. Come on, fool. Usually you can take them out before they can even hit you. Um, obviously, you've also got to keep an eye on your food and your water and whatnot. But that kind of looks after itself after a while. Once you've been playing for a little bit, I don't need you that. Uh, once you've been playing for a little bit, you can just really just go crazy with it. I wouldn't be too worried about them. Although I will say, when it's higher up, you do regain health. So, if you haven't got any healing items, it might be worth just eating and making sure you're watered. You can pick up canteens and stuff, they'll pretty much refill your uh, health completely. But yeah, this is a really nice game. Uh, I've got the settings turned a little bit down because I'm playing it on a laptop. So, you know, it is a very accessible game. And there, there is a big difference between playing on, say, a laptop and playing on uh, a decent PC with ultra settings. But so, where are we going to go then? We could go to the campground. Ooh. Yeah, I think we'll just follow the road down and try and get to the campground. Well, I see some ahead. Is that? Just a sign, or is that a building? I think it's a sign. Like I say, I mean, I really have not been up this part of the island, which is kind of weird because I've been most parts of the island. It's a great little game to play in multiplayer as well, especially now that there are, have been more updates and whatnot. All these trees, you can cut them down and build bases and stuff. I won't be building any bases just yet, I don't think. I know that looks to be a watchtower. That's kind of cool. No, I can't put the scope on here, okay. Oh great, I got two clips, both with uh, free ammunition. But you can just pick up uh, boxes of ammunition, it's not always clips, but until you start picking up the boxes, it is worth picking up the clips. It's always worth having a couple of clips on you. I wouldn't say fill your inventory with clips, but definitely have a couple of clips handy. Excuse me officer, <coughs> there seems to be an issue here. Nice! Police vest. Does that actually... Yes, that adds in storage space as well. That actually goes over, like, clothes. Ooh. Civilian ammunition. There's some trousers there. <laughs> so yeah, every piece of clothing adds... Ooh, cobra. I love the cobra. Every piece of clothing adds storage space. Come on. I don't know if I can... Alright, so I'll pick you up for the thing. I'm getting... I've got plenty of storage space now, so... No, it has trousers. Come on, baby. That's right. Oh, and I got a hat now as well. That's awesome. And I know I've already got clothes, but I'm actually picking up the excess clothes so I can put more ammo box. I'm actually picking up the extra clothes. Oh God, ladders. Oh, these are not Tox, friend. Tox does not like the ladders in this game. I did all that for a cobra. Well, I suppose this is as good a place as any to actually keep some stuff. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll look up. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you office of talk. So what? I can, but that makes metal scrap, which I don't really need. But it closes it down, I suppose. So what you can do with the clothes is you can actually turn them into... Uh... Right, where are we? I haven't got any range armor. But I have got this armor. Yeah, there we go. So, if you see now, what I'm going to do is, I think if I swap out the Cobra, remove that magazine, drop that Cobra. If I was playing on a multiplayer, I would probably keep extra guns and stuff around, because, you know, people, I that would also be on the server with me would probably need them at some point so rather than just sorting yourself out i mean this is obviously if you're playing a cooperative multiplayer server if you that's a full magazine so you know if you're not playing a cooperative multiplayer server and you're playing like you know one versus everybody then you'll be all right Right, so I've got plenty of Cobra magazines now. Now the Cobra is brilliant because it does semi as well as fully automatic. Yeah, I, I really don't need the metal scrap for anything. I mean, I might need it in a bit. So if I drop it here, at least I know where it is. Um, the cloth I'll keep because obviously, you know. I can turn that into stuff, turn it into rags, once you've turned it into rags you can then use that to make bandages, but yeah the Cobra has got a fully automatic which is brilliant when you have a large selection of targets. A target rich environment one would say uh, when you are walking down ladders make sure you go down backwards if you jump down if you just walk to the edge of a ladder you will fall off if you fall off you will have the chance of hurting yourself quite badly if you hurt yourself badly you will probably die quite quickly especially early on in the game later on in the game probably not um, that's a good point actually. What can I what does I do? Punch and melee does greater force. We'll put that up. Uh, you gain experience every time you kill something. There's no levels in this game, you just get upgrades based on your experience points, so you, you, you spend your experience points. Uh, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably make a mini sort of, not a series, but I'll keep coming back to this game as and when something happens. It's probably not going to be like terribly frequent, but based on the update schedule, I mean there was one a few days ago, there was one yesterday, so based on the update schedule and the fact that this game now has a working uh, Steam Workshop. Absolutely brilliant. So there's loads to do. Uh, I'll probably do a quick overview of one of the one of my favourite Steam Workshop mods, which is the Area 15. Come on, baby. That's right. You gonna go down? Backpack. In the original build of this game, all right, it's a day pack, it's not exactly brilliant, but it's better than nothing. In the original build of this game, if you didn't have a backpack, you had hardly any storage. I mean, that's a day pack and it's not like massive, but it's adding a fair whack of storage. 
Yeah, that's right. Don't mess with the talk. Oh, he's had a juice box.